Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Inspire 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on the smart band and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the touch sensitive buttons right here on the sides of the smart band. You can press and hold both of them and keep holding them until the smart band turns on or you can plug it into a charger and it should turn on automatically once you plug it into a charger and power. Okay, after you turn on the device, you should see this animation or rather this message on the screen, which means we need to download and install Fitbit application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the App Store on your phone. In the App Store, tap on search and type in Fitbit and then tap on search button. You should see this application, Fitbit, with this icon. Now tap on the install button to download and install the application. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the application, you will need to log in into account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on join Fitbit right here and create a new account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on login. Tap right here to enter the email address. And then give me a couple of seconds, I'm gonna enter the password. And once you enter the password, you can tap on login to login. Oh, I might have entered the password wrong, so give me a couple more seconds. Seconds rather. Okay, this time I entered the correct password. So let's wait until it logs in. And after you log in into an account, you will see the today page of the application. Now, tap on the profile icon right here to open the profile page. And then tap on set, set up a device right here. You will see the list of devices and scroll through this list find the Inspire 2 on the list and tap on it. Then tap on Set Up. As you can see, we need to allow the permission for the location. So tap on Nearby Permission, tap on Allow, then tap on Set Up again. Scroll down, tap on I Accept, then Next. And here the app wants us to allow permission for the location again. And you can do it by tapping on this information uh, tab to fix uh, to basically allow the permission for the location. If you don't want it, you can tap on continue without location. But uh, as you can see here, you won't be able to track the exercise, maps and, and weather and stuff like that without the location. So if you don't want it, you can tap on continue without location. If you want it, tap on uh, all of the error messages to fix the problem basically like that and once you fix it you can see that we can tap on done okay now we need to enter the code from our band so one four six four Once you see this page, you should get the pop up uh, with the message that you, if you want to link the devices, for some reason I didn't get it, so let's tap on try again. This is weird, should be working. Let's try maybe opening the Bluetooth settings and removing Inspire 2 from here and then trying again. Okay, now we can tap on pair and connect and then pair.
and then tap on allow okay so basically the problem was that my inspire 2 was connected previously to my phone and i didn't disconnect it completely so it couldn't connect again so i removed it from the bluetooth or from the connections menu from this menu right here connected devices i removed it from here and then it was okay and we could uh, basically continue so if you have problems on that stage or rather on that uh, page you can uh, try to do the same thing as i did and hopefully it will help you okay and right here we can set up the uh, irregular rhythm notification if you want to you can tap on learn more to check how to do it i'm just gonna tap on skip then we can go through the tutorial how to use our smart band by tapping on next 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 and done and here we can buy a premium for the fitbit uh, application if you want to do it you can tap on start mem membership i'm just gonna tap on the x right here to skip it and once you skip the premium thing you will see the account menu or account page rather and on it you will see that inspire 2 is right here on the list of devices and you can tap on it to open the list or rather device page for your inspire 2. also if you wake up the screen on your smart band you will see that you can use it now so it means that the devices are connected together and that's how you pair this smart band with the android phone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video